Mabuhai Squad, I do have some amazing, amazing, awesome news that my mom told me. Yes, and I can't wait to let you guys know this awesome news. Mabuhai Squad, my mom told me this. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. My parents are getting their vaccines. Yes, on the 7th, so a couple days from now, um, which is great. I am very happy about this. My mom, my dad, my aunts and uncles, they were all booked by my frontliner cousin, Marianne. Thank you so much, Marianne. And uh, it's just a good piece of, peace of mind for me to know that my parents are getting their vaccines. In terms of us here in the Philippines, not sure when we're getting our vaccines. RJ and I would like to get it as soon as we can. And you know, I've actually been struggling with this. Like, what's the etiquette? Like our government right now is vaccinating the public, right? It's vaccinating the frontliners first and they're currently vaccinating the elderly, right? Then next are the indigent communities here in the Philippines, so they're gonna get theirs. But the president also allowed for private companies to now get it. Companies like Unilab are selling it to other companies. So like everyone is just kind of sort of getting it. Like if you work for a company that bought vaccines from Unilab, you could get vaccinated, you and your family. So like everyone's just kind of getting vaccinated now. So like I myself as a healthy young individual, is it wrong for me to get a vaccine for our to get a vaccine as well and for our whole team to be vaccinated what's the etiquette should we wait right me I'm leaning towards we should just get it like we're doing everyone else a favor by getting vaccinated I think everyone has a moral responsibility to get it as soon as they can because even though there is kind of a general order like now it's just kind of like okay you can get it get it right am I wrong is this how it should be or my team and I are all healthy adults, should we wait until like say all the elderly and all frontliners get their vaccinations? That's what I'm struggling with now. I've actually held several polls online and asked my cousins like, okay, what's the etiquette now? Like, what's the ethics? Do I wait? In waiting, like if I'm able to get it, shouldn't I get it to like help other people? Because if we're immune, we will help stop the spread. Anyways, this is something that I've been thinking about. I'm not, I, I I'm not sure, what do you guys think? Because inside I feel like RJ and I and my whole team can possibly get it. Have any of you guys got vaccinated? I see it guys, I see a lot of you guys posting your vaccination like photos on social media and I'm like, <laughs> immunity, immunity, it's so far away. <laughs> anyway, all is good because we're staying safe and at home anyhow. Good morning. Yes, puppies basking in the sun. They love it. And they also love the sounds. So now what I do is I open the windows for most of the day and the dogs can, you know, get used to the random dogs barking outside, the various noises, birds, traffic, the man selling taho, <laughs> which is a like a Filipino breakfast dessert snack and they love it they love the sounds like dogs are very sound oriented they're very smell oriented um, and not only visual so yeah I think I'm gonna do that from now on and plus allows my place to be nice and well ventilated I also open the window in the bathroom see keep that window open and sometimes I'll leave this window open too so there's like at least a circulation of air good morning having some Cypher's coffee. Hi okay, guys, things are getting crazy. So there are, we're another 12,000 something cases. They extended lockdown here in Manila for another week. RJ believes that the lockdown will maybe be for a month. Cause it's not getting better. Oh, sorry, going to the bad news right away. Happy Easter! <laughs> Happy Easter everybody. OMG, it's Easter Sunday. Okay, I should have started. I should have started with the good news. Yeah, happy Easter Sunday. I, I'm excited to hear what RJ is going to cook and taste and eat it um, for all of you guys later. But yeah, uh, going back to the state of affairs currently. 
architect Dennis messaged us. He's like, hey, cases are rising, hospitals are full, they won't let you in. If you're willing to come to the farm, we can make sure you're all set up. I guess maybe they would prioritize the building of the bedroom. I don't know. I'm not sure what he meant by that, but he would, or maybe we could you know, ship in a Bahai Kubo, a temporary housing, which can be fully decked with air conditioner and all of that. Yeah, he's like, I'm considering staying there with his family because as you know, Architect also has a property there because cases are rising. It's just crazy. Like we're all trying to stay calm here, right? But we know people who have it and it's getting really bad guys. So the thought of moving out to the farm early is like starting to creep into my mind. I'm going to talk to RJ about it when he wakes up. Um, and this is something we were planning on doing last year when I thought, you know, with this whole pandemic thing, right? We're all in survival mode. I thought there would be like a total breakdown of society, like pe because things would close down or businesses would not be operating due to this virus. Like I thought it was going to be a zombie apocalypse type thing where like people were breaking into homes for food i don't know like this is this is what i was thinking like total breakdown of society so like before they ever announced lockdown here last year i was like rj we gotta move to the farm we gotta move to a forest look for a forest we're moving there we're gonna live out of our van like we were <laughs> i was pressuring him to do that but like now that conversation is coming back to in my mind anyway and I'm gonna bring it up to RJ. Like maybe we should consider going out to our farm where we will be living. And at least there's like fresh air, we're in less proximity to other people, you know? There are some challenges though to doing that because my aquariums, my tanks, I can't bring that. It ever came to the point where we could only bring select pets to the farm, I would have to rehome certain pets. Pets I could bring probably are things like my frog, my horned frog. Um, he would come, Jabba the Hutt is his name. Um, I could bring my snake. I could bring my green tree python, Valentino, all my tarantulas, my fish tank, I would have to disassemble. Like this took, this was a whole year of like gear and life, bio like sphere in water to establish. So I would have to disassemble that and rehome the fish. Like I would just send the fish to my pet store here. I'm the pet, the owner is my friend. She'll gladly take them in. She'll also have to take in my axolotls, my scorpion I could bring, some ant colonies I could bring, any small, smaller ant colonies, but the bigger tanks I cannot bring. Those would have to be rehomed as well. So uh, it's, it's a big task, but you know, like this is survival. I would have to start all over again with the ant room, which to be fair, I have been thinking of doing because I've considered transporting those massive tanks to Cavite, to our new home. And I just feel like it'll be a total nightmare. So I don't know. I just, these are things I gotta think about if we are going to move out indefinitely to Cavite. The other easy option is we have someone stay here, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you guys move out? But see, like we're at 12,000 a day. Is that bad? Like our population density is, I mean, that's bad. That is bad because our hospitals can't can't handle that volume, right? That's not good. It's more than just like population size. size. Cause I was about to say, oh, 12,000 is not that bad considering how many millions of people are in Manila. But no, it is bad because our medical system can't handle the volume currently. So that's bad. And vaccinations aren't going out as fast as they should be or as we would want them to be. Um, so yeah, would you stay? Like, are we safer here in our little bubble of this condo? What would you do? Would you go out to the Mabuhay Squad farm to like hang out until numbers go down? I gotta think of how this is gonna work. Anyways, happy Easter guys. <laughs> happy Easter. Whatever the case, we will be able to handle things. You know what I'm saying? Another thing to consider is that Sahara doesn't have her complete set of shots yet. Um, I believe she 
needs to finish her parvo virus, which as you dog owners know, is very deadly and there's a pandemic of parvo here in the Philippines. So like, even if we did go out to the farm, Sahara, and I guess even Cypher, won't be able to go out and run around. They would have to stay inside the house area, wherever we're staying. And the reason why Cypher, even though he's got his full set of shots, won't be able to go out is because I'm afraid like the parvo might be on his body, even though he's immune. Sahara isn't completely immune. She might somehow, you know, take it in and it could kill her. So um, that's another thing we have to consider if we do move out to the farm. The dogs will not be able to run free just yet. Guys, could you imagine us vlogging from out there in the province? Like strip really down to the basics. I mean, I would lie if I said I didn't think that would be slightly cool, but you know, Let's see, I, I'll talk things over with RJ. But speaking of moving out um, and new beginnings, that is exactly what Easter represents, doesn't it? Jesus rose from the dead, started new life, new beginnings. I think this is why Easter is always associated with like chicks. <laughs> Hatching from eggs, the Easter Bunny coming out of their holes after hibernation, right? Um, it's springtime, like it's that whole feels, tulips. Um, that's what I think when I think Easter. So yeah, and I also remember that RJ and I decided to come out to the world, that we were bisexual, that we were dating, that we loved each other. We decided to come out um, of the closet on Easter of 2019. Um, so Easter is definitely a special day for RJ and I. And oh, although Easter, the actual date kind of shifts, um, it's not a fixed date is what I'm saying. And I remember as a kid really looking forward to having our Easter egg hunt with all my cousins, um, sometimes friends. My mom is very, very festive, so she would always decorate and she would help us dye, we would dye eggs. And there were these like little plastic sort of like covers, like film that you would put on an egg and then when you stick it in boiling water, it like wraps around the egg. Like it's so cool, like it was so fun. Hiding chocolates, egg chocolates around the house. Oh, th those were good. Good times. Um, how about you guys? Did you guys do Easter egg hunts? Mm, 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 mm. But anyways, happy Easter guys. Hope you guys have a great Easter weekend. As for the dogs, they're on their own Easter egg hunt as usual. Um, these carpets are destroyed now. Look at them. They're not smelly. They're not. They're just very cheap carpets. We figured uh, the dogs will ruin the carpets and we were right. So we got really cheap carpets. The reason why we have these is so they don't slip and stuff when they run around, which was key while he was healing for his hip. And it just looks really bad. Like, see, it's all crumpled and messy. So RJ and I are now looking for actual like good quality rugs that are dog proof so that they could you know properly run around do you guys have any recommendations because these little rugs are no more and look they've already been chewing you guys been chewing the rugs <laughs> they're so cute happy easter guys there they go there they go go there go there you go. This is a tough one she she's an alpha she's a she wolf this one ah just checked guys RJ and I's out -siversary. <laughs> does that word exist guys? out -siversary. was the 21st of April 2019, Easter Sunday. All right, it'll be almost two years that RJ and I have been free. Oh, it's awesome. Guys, it's, it really is like a rebirth and it was so appropriate for us to decide to do it on Easter Sunday. Good memories. Here's to new life, new beginnings and new energy for all of us guys. Cheers! Yes. Mm. Okay guys, so you've noticed that Sahara seems to be barking at her reflection. It's either she's barking at her reflection or at the axolotls. Or at the sound of the dogs bouncing off the window to the aquarium. One of those. Okay guys, time for our positive affirmation for April the 4th. Each day is brand new for me because I live in the now. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. Each day is brand new for me because I live in the now. Love that. New beginnings. All right, guys. So RJ has been awake. He's upstairs currently fixing things. We've made a decision as to whether or not we're going to leave or stay. 
Mobuhai Squad. What we've decided is that we're going to 